Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. Today I wanted to give you a tip on hand drill and answer a question that I'm at. I have been asked a lot down through the years. Why are we doing a burn-in, wasting that heat, and then cutting a notch, and then going for the ember? Why aren't we doing the, you know, the divot for the burn-in and the notch at the same time and not waste that heat? Well, usually, if you try to do both of them at the same time, the spindle is gonna drift all over the place. Sometimes it'll drift to the back of the divot and away from the notch, but usually it's gonna to drift towards the notch and blow out. Uh, unless you have a good reason or a couple good reasons, you should always do the burn in first, which will, you know, even though you take and cut a divot with your knife, when you do that burn in, it's still going to drift one way or the other just a little bit, but it'll pretty much establish where it's going to stay, where it's going to be. Then you can place an accurate notch up into that divot and you'll have better results that way. But the tip for today is when do you not do a burn in like that? This fireboard's only about three sixteenths of an inch thick. This would be the perfect time to go ahead and cut a divot, cut a notch, and do the burn in and going for the ember at the same time. That's what I wanted to show you. Go ahead and cut that notch. Now, like I say, the thickness of this fireboard is not beefy enough to accommodate two drillings just the one drilling is all that there's enough thickness for let me show you let me go get some pine needles hold on the wind doesn't usually start blowing this hard at nine o'clock in the morning usually it's after 12 so We're used to the wind, though. Horseweed spindle on Virginia pine. You've been seeing Virginia pine for three days now. First, I did the bundle spindle with it two videos ago. Yesterday we did a sort of an entire Virginia pine set made out of one piece of wood, except for the t-shirt bowstring. And now we're using this ember catch from yesterday's video to go ahead and do the hand drill.
Looks like we got an ember. Or is it going out? No, it's still burning. It's never good for this much wind to blow on it. Because what you're trying to do is to get that dust to coalesce. It needs to come together and cook and get hotter and hotter and it's going to get tight. Well, if the wind is blowing on it, it'll never coalesce. It'll just sit there and burn up too quickly. But that's doing all right. All right, y'all, do me a favor. Please subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and in that drop-down list, select all. And do give the video a like. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.